I basically uh, I started my journey in the year 2007 uh, coming from a background of uh, finance I've done my EMS from Narsi Munji did my MBA from SPJM at that time I realized that I'm not a guy who could be very very uh, 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 interested in doing just a desk job or crunching numbers, and coming from a family where my grandfather was one of the well-known contractors of Mumbai, and uh, so-called real estate was always there in the blood, I realized that why not explore something uh, into the development side, into real estate side, working with a bigger company where the exposure would be all round, not just with numbers or specific uh, portfolios. It should be maybe all across across the spectrum we could explore. and then uh, that's when i got my first break with the vadva group in the year 2007 i was uh, fortunate uh, under the leadership of mr sanjay chhabria and mr vijay vadva i got a great break in vadva group where i was appointed as a business development manager and got to focus on uh, various tasks of acquisition redevelopment uh, old and new project uh, rehabilitation and uh, got a got a entry into a company which was very young Uh, upcoming at the same time was on the growing uh, spree so was able to touch my hands upon lot of facets of the real estate industry but there was never an whole uh, idea of getting into entrepreneurship on your own it is always because i didn't come from a family which was uh, a first generation developer or had that capital the risk capital to put into real estate line but when i worked in my stint at vadva group i really understood that few things uh, which were very important which i learned from there was your ability to take risk your intent to deliver and your uh, basically understanding of the overall uh, real estate development uh, model where i felt it was quite an interesting facet where we were able to look at various things where you could play with large numbers you could do a development with she would give you a lot of recognition in the society you could do large scale development where you are in inherently bringing a lot of job uh, and wage uh, development where you are giving employment to a lot of people as a team i saw in my in my in my stint at vadva group that so many families were dependent on you as when you when as an entrepreneur when you were having a development model where into various departments the kind of employment was very good banks were supportive if your intentions were good and you had a fairly good reputation and name so i felt uh, yes it's a good business model where uh, if the capital structure is in place and uh, your uh, ability to do and execute large level of uh, business with a right team set up or a right organization strength it's a, it's a good model where you can go on your own that was the idea and uh, that made me subsequently uh, join uh, another company called parini developers where i was given a good podium and a and a and a bench and a platform where i could uh, perform as an entrepreneur in a in a kind of a sweat equity model where i was remunerated for my uh, input to the organization and my scalability which i brought to the organization and uh, with about 7 and a half 8 years of uh, working in a corporate environment i thought it was the right time that now it's uh, your own uh, leap of faith has to be taken and go to the next level and maybe try to be 100% in control of what you envisage and dreamt of and that got me to uh, give birth to something like paradigm reality in 2014 i think yes of course uh, given the environment that real estate is in where we are dependent on not just uh, capabilities within the organization but dependency on government rules in terms of approval nuances having a capital structure in place where your funding arrangements are taken care having right land partners where you able to acquire the land clear the land get it into a level where you can start delivering then having challenges of able to sell collect cash flows and construct and deliver in the timeline then an environment like rera coming in so i think the ever since our inception we only face challenges first the demonetization then the rera coming in then gst coming in then we had this current difficulty of nbfcs and home loans not granting cash flows so uh, in our journey of three and a half years we've only seen uh, ups and downs of a larger magnitude but one thing uh, yes uh, again it narrows down to one you need to be very lucky to have a good team 
if you have a good top organization we are very we have a very good top management where each one is handling their own portfolio and domain and handling it to the t i mean they are considering the organization as if it's their own and that's the way they have the complete authority responsibility and ownership for their portfolio we we are very happy to have good partners i mean good syndicate partners where either the landlords or joint developers or uh, you may say bank partners where bank funding partners who had faith in us who pitched out the Uh, the confidence on our company that we could turn around a project so i think it's not a game of a only person or an entrepreneur doing this it's a team work right it from internal team of your organization to external people and it's good wishes and hard work of all in coming together that's helped us today to deliver about 1000 apartments in a span of less than 3 and a half 4 years so i think it's been a, a fabulous journey so uh, addressing your question in the right manner i think uh, there is no competition amongst developers you know where it, i think there is uh, it's an ocean of opportunity bombay being a city where there's three side water so it's an ocean of opportunity where each one has enough based on its capital structure based on the risk appetite based on kind of development you want your they want to do so when we got in of course uh, our major focus was to have a good infrastructure and logistic support we today we understood that real estate development is no more like uh, four or five people coming in together and start making a building there has to be proficiency amongst all the various portfolios right from finance right from fundraising right from sales collection call center crm de- department then you have a marketing department you have a uh, very important consultants on board who give you the right road map then there is proficiency in technology in terms of construction the ability to deliver fast so when we started we started with a team of four people and today as we talk we are about 175 and still counting what more importantly we realized is as and when we started developing a, a a bandwidth which was focused towards addressing each uh, core portfolio that's when we started realizing that yes we can do more number of projects we can have scalability in our approach and uh, there were people who are accountable to uh, basically address uh each problem or each challenge rather than just keeping the monkey on someone else's back there was a level of accountability that came in so yes uh, the thing which i can differentiate from others is we have a very good uh, well qualified and you can say a very youth oriented organization where the average age is about 32 33 so people fit from 24 25 up to 35 37 is the bandwidth where there so there's a lot of energy that comes in the organization from people being young uh people just being fresh from college or its few years of experience so it's easier to mold them it's easier to groom them towards the ethics and the culture of the organization and uh, the ability to work harder is there and make more mistakes and learn from that so we are a company which is a very open culture where we allow people to make mistakes we ensure that they learn from that we ensure we handhold them so our whole uh, differentiator amongst other people may be the level of team that we have and our uh, ability to strike a good balance with strategic partners from project to project which really takes a lot of uh, load or dependency on one organization or one promoter it is divided amongst more number of people that's i think an edge to our uh, whole philosophy of businesses we need like we like to have a capital closure before we start a project where if tomorrow sales are not done if tomorrow recovery is not coming if tomorrow going forward project is stuck up due to whatever reason for 3 6 months how are we going to address crisis how are we going to address any force uh, force measure that comes in because only thing certain in our industry is uncertainty so how do we tackle uncertainty in terms of if any project faces that difficulty so we ensure that uh, we have a proper financial closure either from bank or npfc to meet construction money we ensure that we have discipline of funds where we don't try to fudge monies from one project to other each of the 6 7 projects we are doing have been considered as a separate business unit separate isolated uh, portfolio so that focused approach has helped us three we ensure uh, along with it not to remove the project money from the project until completion is done so when 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 the focus is towards completing the product on time so the money is have to be made available the working capital to ensure that the project is delivered on time and you honor the commitment today is a rare era it's imperative that the developer completes on time otherwise there are huge 
क्रिमिनल एंड लीगल इम्प्लीकेशंस एंड टार्निशिंग ऑफ अ गुड विल सो वी इंश्योर दैट वी लाइक टू कम्प्लीट द प्रोजेक्ट इन आवर गिवन टाइम ऑफ टू टू थ्री इयर्स विच एवर वी कमिट टू अवर क्लाइंट्स एंड नॉट कॉम्प्रोमाइज एनी वेयर ऑन द क्वालिटी और कट कॉर्नर्स सो आई थिंक इट इज अ डिसिप्लिन ऑफ अप्रोच दैट वी आर विलिंग टू कैरी विच इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वैल्यू सिस्टम वी ट्राई टू इनकल्केट इन अवर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन So in the year 2017, we delivered our first project at Santa Cruz called Work. It was a high-end luxury building which we completed in a span of less than two years. In 2018, we are delivering our uh, another very reputed project in the vicinity of Khar called Nivan. It houses about 50 to 60 apartments and uh, having a commercial and a retail space. Uh, we delivered these two in January this year in 2018. We delivered about 350 apartments in our flagship project Ananda, being the tenant side of uh, the project that we delivered. Uh, in 2019, by uh, the financial year end, we'll deliver another 350 projects of our two-acre complex Ananda in uh, Bodhvi, and we have one more delivery slated in June in uh, our project called Casa Plaza in Bodhvi. So, uh, the, apart from these four projects, we've got uh, about 2020 and 21 uh, three more projects that we've uh, looked at delivery. One at Oshiwara called El Signora, budgeted one-bedroom apartments. Our Burivli East uh, project, uh, Ariana Residency, that's about 70 lakh rupees one-bedroom apartments. Uh, and we have uh, two projects which are a joint venture with uh, Hop Town. Uh, at, it's called Premier at Versoa and. Uh, Chimbur Seasons that we have slated for delivery in 21. We've got a budget housing project in Thane uh, called Zenith Residency, which we've slated for delivery in 2021. So basically, we try to target every year about four to five hundred apartments that we can deliver. So about uh, average, we're doing about five hundred apartments a year. So next year we'll be doing about thousand apartments a year. So the whole uh, focus of the company is to deliver projects on a constant basis. but not to uh, burden the pro- company with all projects at the similar level where if two projects are at start then two are at completion two are at midway so that way the cash flow working capital requirements are able to do justice to the said project and uh, going forward uh, again uh, with with the slated about close to 3000 homes delivery by 21 we have our one very important project in ushiwara uh, that's about 10 acre of land we come out with a very big residential complex that we should be announcing towards the mid next year and that's going to be having about 2 and 1/2 3000 apartments too so uh, we are mainly focusing on more budget apartments uh, typically ticket sizes of 60 70 lakhs to 1 and 1/2 crore more affordable segment and give people the best value of money in the given budget and connectivity in terms of closer to the central cbd areas of bombay and give them amenities quality timeline delivery and uh, in terms of well planned apartments beautiful cross ventilation no wastages and passages try to give a effective and efficient product that's where our uh, whole uh, synthesis is and uh, we want to ensure that we we try and uh, give about 500 to 1000 apartments delivery going each year from uh, 19 onwards that's the focus area and mainly focus on mumbai and regions in and around mumbai Well, absolutely. Today, with the going times, the way we are uh, marching s- uh, in a such a meteoric speed ahead in terms of digitalization, uh, any technology today that comes in which can uh, enhance the working environment, increase the efficiency towards the output of the ob- set objective of a pro- portfolio, and reduces the dependency on uh, human. Uh, Uh, intervention in terms of uh, accountability is always welcome like for example uh, in construction technology now gone are the old days where uh, people used to have conventional technology now we are using technology like form work shuttering steel shuttering where we save a lot of time in terms of construction site hygiene and safety is better we are having more speed in terms of construction timeline and we are doing better quality where you can avoid what uh, waterproofing you are avoiding uh, things like plastering and uh, already uh, prefabricated technologies available with which the construction overall is going to be more top of the line is going to be better quality for years to come and is going to carry a good uh, stable quality in terms of technology towards the ground 
Now, other part is in terms of technology which we are using within the organization. That is today uh, we are using a lot of uh, tools like Salesforce, etc., where we are able to integrate our interdependent, interdepartment. Uh, teams working together where each uh, team is aware about what is exactly happening within the organization then uh, of course various other technology tools are there which are available which, are available, which helps the individual person to maintain a good information system where continuously follow up of people can be reduced and each one is clear of what are their deliverables and how they are uh, recording it on a, on a platform so those kind of technologies we are adopting In terms of digital sphere now today, gone are the days where uh, we are just couriering things or uh, maybe just emailing things across or having hand delivery of paper going on. With the way uh, the world is moving, with the digital media being, uh, people being so savvy on digital media, some uh, all the tools like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. where uh, the visibility is so much, if it is used to the advantage, there's a podium available to any industry, not just real estate, to portray what they're doing, to ensure they get the right eye eyeballs. You can do a lot of focused area marketing. You can be present across geographies and countries where you want to target. So these things are available with the increased technology.